so we know uh, what is planck's constant and uh, uh, we uh, write this planck's constant as h okay so this is determined by max planck in 1900 and uh, we are finding the value of this planck's constant using light emitting diodes okay because uh, when we apply voltage to the light emitting diodes so when this voltage is beyond the knee voltage so majority carriers are crossing the junction and uh, they are recombining with the holes uh, if their electrons are going through the junction so they will combine with the holes and if uh, holes are crossing uh, to the uh, across the junction so they will recombine with electrons so electron and hole recombination will be there when we are applying voltage greater than knee voltage so after that what is happening in the light emitting diodes they uh, after this recombination light is being emitted so that's why these diodes are uh, named as light emitting diodes because this uh, um, energy difference between the conduction band and the valence band for these particular diodes is lying in the region of the these electromagnetic radiations okay so they may come in the visible region infrared region so if these uh, they are coming in the form of electromagnetic radiation so light is being emitted okay so that uh, according to planck said this energy is directly proportional to frequency so if this uh, light has we know that uh, according to planck all electromagnetic radiations have some frequency and energy of that uh, uh, light is directly proportional to frequency so accordingly when we are using the constant of proportionality it is h here so e equal to h nu and uh, this is the energy that we are providing from the forward biasing to the light emitting diodes we are applying voltage so when we are applying voltage and when we multiply this voltage to the e that is electronic charge so this much energy we are providing okay and uh, uh, this much energy we are providing and electrons are acquiring energy from this forward biasing so after that they are going to the uh, other uh, side of the diode and um, electrons are going from n to p and holes are going from p to n and electron hole recombination will be there light is being emitted so we are uh, equating these two equations and from where we have evaluated uh, this expression number 4 okay so this v is actually the variable here because uh, every light emitting diode has its own new voltage if suppose red light is coming so uh accordingly diode has some material that uh, the energy difference between the conduction band and valence band lies in the red region okay and uh, uh, if we are taking the green led that means the material we are uh, making or specially designing that diode in a way that conduction band and the valence band energy gap is lying in the region of green light so in this way we are specially designing the light emitting diodes to emit that particular light so every uh, green light or uh, uh, red light blue light each led has its own new voltage so that much energy is required to uh, that much energy is required for the electrons to cross the junction so that they can recombine with the holes okay so when they are recombining so different light is emitted so uh, if we are taking four leds so four uh, voltage different voltage will be required to give the light and each color has its own wavelength so that means we are getting different wavelengths and different new voltage for different leds okay so if we see this equation as a uh, if we see this equation can be uh, represented as a straight line here if we take v as y axis and 1 by lambda as x axis so if you see y equal to mx is the equation of straight line so when we draw these four points in a uh, and when we take these four points and make a line or uh, we plot a graph so it will be a straight line so from the straight line you can find the slope of that graph so from the slope of the graph we are equating that uh, uh, slope to this term at c by e okay accordingly uh, y equal to mx or m is the slope of that uh, um, slope of that line so that slope is equal to at c by e okay so from the slope then you can find the planck's constant so this we have discussed in the previous class also and now i will uh, explain you how we will perform this experiment and if you have any query you can uh, if you have any doubt you can ask me students how many of you have not done this experiment can you see this simulator 
Yes, ma'am. Okay, so this is the experimental uh, uh, setup here. So to perform this experiment, firstly we will uh, join or make all the connections. Okay, so after making connections, firstly we will make all the connections. You know, this is the light emitting diode. Okay, so all is done. So uh, this is the connection that we have made for this uh, light emitting diode. And uh, this light emitting diode has the same symbol as normal PN diode. Okay, because zener diode has some different symbol. And uh, this light emitting diode is same, but uh, to uh, differentiate from the normal PN diode, we are making arrow. That means light is coming from these diodes. So light will only come when we are applying forward biasing to it. Okay, so because we know that zener diode works in the reverse bias. Both of the diodes, they can work in uh, forward bias and the reverse bias. So when we talk about the application point of view of these diodes, so that means this light emitting diode um, we use in the forward bias condition and zener diode we, are, we use in the uh, reverse bias condition. Otherwise, both of these diodes can work in reverse as well as uh, forward biasing. But from the application point of view, say, because light emitting diodes is being used in forward bias condition because why we are using in the forward bias condition? Because when we use forward biasing, they will emit light. Okay, so that light is that you can use in some other appliances. Okay, that is that can be used. So from the application point of view, we are using these in the forward biasing condition. So from here, you can see that this light emitting diode is connected in the forward biasing. P is connected to the positive and is connected to the negative here and to uh, what voltage we are applying to this li uh, light emitting diode um, uh, we are using a rheostate from where we will vary this voltage from the battery and voltmeter will show you which voltage that you have applied and voltmeter we always uh, use in the parallel connection and to measure what current is flowing through this uh, um, diode we use ammeter and ammeter we use in the series connection so this is how we make the circuit diagram for the light emitting diode in forward bias condition. So you can select any diode and uh, there are options that uh, uh, five options are there. So minimum four uh, LEDs you will use. If I am using red LED and the characteristics uh, uh, wavelength of this red LED is given 650 nanometer. So if I am using red LED and uh, when uh, I will insert the key, so you can see that uh, from voltmeter it is showing zero and uh, ammeter it is showing zero. So as I will vary the voltage, okay, as I am moving this rheostate, okay, so by moving the rheostate means we are changing the resistance and so in that way uh, this voltmeter voltage is increasing. So as you are seeing that voltage is increasing, but the current in that uh, uh, ammeter is still zero because these electron major uh, in the forward bias condition current is only due to the majority carriers but majority carriers cannot cross the junction unless and until this voltage is greater than the new voltage because we know that in uh, in a diode we have pn junction that junction is at the center of p side and n side okay so it is at the center so when this uh, junction has because this junction has some potential barrier so that potential barrier is in the negative. Okay, when we are applying positive voltage to it, so when this positive voltage is greater than this negative voltage, so only then these electrons and holes can uh, move across the junction to recombine with the other charge carriers. So as this voltage will increase this new voltage, you will see your uh, this uh, ammeter starts giving the current value. So at that time when this is giving the current value, so this light is emitted from the diodes you can see here so as it starts giving the current so light is being emitted from the light emitting diode and as you are increasing the voltage more and more electron and holes are recombining so more number of photons will be emitted okay so when two electrons and holes are combining so accordingly two photons will be emitted so as you will increase the voltage so this uh, light is you can see that Num uh, this uh, number of photons of this uh, red light is okay. So uh, 
this is how we have uh, we have done this experiment with the red led and uh, what you will do uh, what you have to find in this experiment by using this red led you will find what is the knee voltage where this voltage is giving light okay so accordingly you see where light is coming this is the minimum voltage that is required to get the light so this voltage you will measure and uh, write this voltage in the observation table for red led and uh, what is the wavelength here it is 650 nanometer okay so when i use uh, green led okay so then again um, uh, i have used this uh, green led so different voltage will be required we know that this uh, green color has different wavelength as compared to the red color because red color has a higher wavelength so green has lesser wavelength so lesser wavelength means energy is large okay so when energy is large means so large uh, energy you will require to cross the junction so that means uh, this voltage will be large now so you see firstly it's coming out a uh, one point something and now it is coming out two point something so different leds have different voltage that is uh, required to uh, give the light okay because uh, uh, providing the forward biasing voltage means we are giving energy so that energy is given to electrons okay so after acquiring the energy they will cross the junction only when this voltage is greater than knee voltage okay so this new voltage we are uh, measuring in this experiment so this is how you will perform for green led then uh, perform for uh, yellow led okay again find at which it starts giving the voltage so what is the knee voltage of this uh, yellow led so as you will increase the wavelength or as you will decrease the wavelength more voltage will be required that means more energy will be required we know that energy is inversely proportional to lambda so when you are decreasing the lambda energy would be large so that means large voltage will be required to give the light so in this way you will measure the knee voltage and the uh, wavelength is given for four leds so i will show you now the uh, observation okay so firstly what we'll do you will uh, write the color of led if you are using red led so red and the uh, corresponding wavelength is given okay and uh, what is the new voltage you get when it starts giving the light okay show me the simulation link yes yes ma'am Yes, so value six point five six six into ten to the power minus thirty four. Yes, it will show you when you will not give the uh, even uh, voltage. Even firstly, see what is the new voltage you are getting from this LED. Now one point nine zero three volt. No light is coming. No, ma'am. So give the voltage. Because when it reaches to uh, now, you can use a left-right button from your uh, uh, laptop. Use left-right button from the laptop. Yes, ma'am. Go back, go back. When it was zero, at one point nine zero three. Yes. Uh, okay. One nine zero three. After that, uh, you yes. Now increase. Yes, nine zero eight pe wo glow ra. Okay, okay. So uh, this is how you are getting the new. Um, uh, you are getting the light now. So that means uh, because firstly, uh, when you plot the graph between V and I. Okay, so uh, you know what is the forward biasing um, uh, V I characteristic now? Because firstly, it is giving zero. Then after that, it starts uh, increasing. Okay, so that means uh, uh, what is the new voltage when it starts increasing in a linear manner? So that voltage you will get. From the graph, okay. Uh, Ma'am, so, ये Planck constant color के हिसाब से change होगा क्या? जैसे यहाँ पे तो red था. Planck's constant will not change. Planck's constant is same because only the thing is uh, frequency is changing, ना? No? Frequency is changing and voltage is changing, but the uh, how it will vary with the frequency and the voltage, it is in the straight line. That means H will not change. Yes, ma'am. Okay, because if suppose uh, frequency is two and uh, voltage is two, so that means if, if suppose two by two we are taking one and four by four it's also one, so 
so in this way that is the ratio from the ratio we are getting the h okay so voltage and frequency are changing but uh, in the way this uh, is giving a straight line means slope is same every time so from this slope we are getting the h so from uh, uh, when you have uh, uh, find out this from green led okay so it will also give the same uh, h different leds will give the same h but we want to find from the graph we are not uh, finding from one led so if you want from one led direct use v and uh, one by lambda and you can find as it is as it has given in in this uh, expression here in the result okay but uh, we are finding from the graph yes sir okay make for, uh, use four leds okay from the four leds different voltage will be required okay from the voltage and one by lambda graph we are finding the planck's constant okay okay ma'am as many readings you take for finding any particular value so more accuracy you will get in the value okay as if suppose i have i want to measure something i have only take one observation so it would not be uh, so accurate so as i will make for uh, if i want to find the planck's constant i am using four leds to confirm that it is exactly h is uh, what exact value is coming from four leds and i will make accurate and take care इंफ्रारेड एलईडी पे ग्लो ही नहीं हो रहा क्यों यू नो कैन यू सी द इंफ्रारेड लाइट नो मैम या सो दैट मींस वी व्हेन वी आर यूजिंग द इंफ्रारेड लाइट बिकॉज व्हेन दिस लाइट इज कमिंग इन द विजिबल रीजन ओनली देन वी कैन सी ना सो व्हेन तो हम ये कह सकते हैं यहां पे जो एम मीटर में मेरा जब वैल्यू शो हो रहा है तो ये उस टाइम पे ग्लो कर रहा होगा यस उस टाइम पे Uh, infrared light are here yes ma'am okay because infrared light has a, a very uh, less uh, uh, you can say okay so less energy is there so that energy we are going in the form of uh, heat it is coming so it will uh, it will give some heat okay ma'am okay yes so when it starts giving uh, you can plot the graph for this infrared light also so as it starts giving the uh, this straight line portion of the vi, VI characteristics then make a line on the x axis so you will get the new voltage for this infrared led as you will get from the blue led okay so infrared light is not in the visible region now so that in that way you are not getting the or you are not you can't see the light so red LL, led is giving the red line okay Yes, is it clear how you will perform this experiment yes ma'am okay so uh, you know only uh, if you anyone uh, want to find the planck's constant use leds in forward biasing you can find the value of h so you can also find the value of h using photocells also in that case we are using reverse biasing characteristics okay for led we are using the forward biasing characteristics and for uh, uh, photocells we are using the reverse biasing characteristics and then we follow the light and from there we are getting the voltage and plotting the graph and from there we are getting the planck's constant okay so uh, find this new voltage from uh, uh, different leds and put the value this new voltage in the uh, observation table then make a graph and from the graph you will find the slope okay so i will not give the marks so who has not used the graph and direct has given the value of h 